Have you ever seen in the movies whenever a woman walks into a room and everyone stares at her? Some people experience jealousy, some loss, some admiration. Well, this woman can be you by learning the art of magnetism. If you'd like to learn more about cultivating self-confidence and creating a feminine-centric lifestyle, then make sure to subscribe and check out my description box below for some free goodies, masterclasses, and guides. My name is Silvana and I am the founder of Venusian Woman, a movement that seeks to reignite feminine wisdom that every woman carries within through the practice of unconditional self-love. Magnetism is a very interesting energy because it is animalistic in nature. Whenever we look at a magnet, for example, it, it just does what it does. It like tracks to that metal. So whenever we are speaking of feminine magnetism, we are really connecting with our own feminine animalistic nature. And this experience of diving deep into the animal and like sitting on the seat of the soul to radiate what you are is an art more than a science because I can give you steps on how to do that, but it is more of an exploration. So in this video, I'm going to guide you through this exploration so, so you can understand how your own magnetic wave moves. The art of magnetism is about learning how to hold emotion in your physical body. Magnetism is created in the alchemy of love and light. Love being the essence of what you are and light being the awareness that you bring into that essence. So whenever you are enhancing your magnetism, the first thing you gotta do is understand how you're feeling and where you're feeling it. Diving into your emotions and instead of trying to focus on like what's around me and what is my surroundings like, of course, outside of safety, but just on the context of magnetism. Once you do that, you bring your attention into your body. So how do I feel? Where do I feel that? Do I have any sensations in my body? Am I excited today? Am I happy? Am I in a moody energy? Am I feeling angry? Like whatever emotion it is, they're all valid. So you see, important thing here to note is that you don't need to be like super happy and excited and like in your juicy flow to feel magnetic. That's ridiculous. That, that, that will be like castrating 50% of your emotional experience. You can, you can embody magnetism no matter what you're feeling. The important thing is that you're feeling it and you're acknowledging in your body that you're feeling it. Now, the second piece here is that you are becoming aware of that feeling. That means that you're bringing your light into your love. You're bringing your own awareness into this sensorial experience that you're having in yourself. You're not really concerned about the other people or the room that you're walking into. You are concerned about how you're feeling when you walk into a room. That is the key differenti differentiator in the art of magnetism. Because to become a magnet, right, it means that all of a sudden, all the power is concentrated within me. And this power that is here is bringing in energy, is pulling in opportunity, is pulling in whatever it is that you want to attract in your life. In order for this energy to be here and contained, it needs to be seen by all of you. Like you need to be the one that holds that frequency, but you need to be feeling a lot. Whatever it is that you're feeling, just feeling it a lot, feeling it a lot is going to send that pulse. And when it is contained, you are communicating energetically to a room that there is a lot of power that is being contained in your direction and you are the one holding that power. So if you are ready to walk into a room and be the most magnetic woman in the room, there are three steps that you got to follow. First one is Focus on what you're feeling and intensify the feeling. If you're feeling excitement about walking into this room, then feed that excitement with more of it, like simmer in it, marinate in it, like, mm, I'm excited. Let's say that you're experiencing a not so positive or yummy emotion and you're experiencing a little bit of frustration. That's an interesting energy to work with. So if you're in the frustration end of things, then feel your frustration, feel the, the, the power of it, the essence, the heat, where in the body is it? And acknowledge that that's what you're feeling. You don't have to make yourself feel happy because that actually does the opposite because you are running on this frustration energy. And if you're trying to force yourself to be happy, so you are magnetic, you're creating more separation and then all of a sudden that depolarizes everything and then you're just like there in like a very flat energy. 
In order for magnetism to be present, everything has to be focused on one point. So you have to bring all your emotions into your awareness. And if it's a negative emotion, it's a little bit more of a challenging exercise, but it's going to do the same thing. It's going to bring that power. And that's what you want, that magnetism, for whatever reasons you want it. That's, that's on you, just teaching you how to do it. So first step, focus on what you're feeling and contain it. Second, you choose to observe all of yourself and you make an assumption. And this assumption is everyone in the world welcomes me. Everyone wants to receive me. An even better assumption is the world loves to receive me. Whenever you make this assumption, whether it's right or wrong, it doesn't matter. That's none of your business, whether other people actually do want to receive you or love you. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you're making an assumption that whatever place you walk in, the world wants to receive you with love. And walking into this assumption, it kind of contains your energy and it pushes out your presence more because it feels safer. So all of this energy that you like kind of harness in the first step gets pushed out thanks to this assumption because this assumption creates safety and when there is safety, we can open up and then let the energy out. And in this practice, that's when we are like blasting our energy out and that allows other people to feel us and experience us. And the last step is the attention remains on you by you. It actually does not matter. Like if you walk into this room and then you get distracted because you're like, are people looking? Are they feeling me? Did I make the entrance that I desire? Did I walk into this building with the, like the moment you begin questioning and putting your focus on the environment, you've lost that magnetic power. So your practice is to maintain your awareness on you by you, all eyes are you, especially yours. And you just focus on your destination. What is it that you're gonna go? Whether this is an interview, you focus on like getting to that interviewee chair. Whether this is in a restaurant for a day, you focus on getting to your date. Like that, that linear energy, which is very masculine in nature, is actually going to allow you to bring all of your magnetic power and just leave it in your body as you're there. And then whenever you get to your destination place, then <sighs> release, because you've made your entrance. This practice is so useful in so many different scenarios. I can, like I have so many examples, I just, I'm not even gonna go there. But you can use it when it comes to like friendships, making an entrance in a place where you're actually gonna network and make contacts, making an entrance um, in a place where there's a potential romantic partner that you like, like there's just so many uses for this. And the best advice that I can give you is to practice, 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 practice. Practice this whenever you're about to walk into a coffee shop, whenever you're about to walk into a store, just, make use of this practice because you don't know when this is going to be very useful and you don't know whenever your presence is going to light up someone's day. So do the experiment, try a few places and let me know in the comments below how your experience went and if you notice any different on how you were received and how you felt. See you guys next time.